Hi students, I want to tell you what to do for this assignment. The whole purpose of this assignment is to see two new trends on the periodic table. We're going to be talking about ionization energy and electronegativity of elements. So if you haven't done so, go ahead and download this ionization energy and electronegativity trends diagram. Now this is going to allow us to see the trend because what we're going to do is take the actual values for ionization energy and electronegativity shown on the right of this assignment and we're going to translate that to these little mini bar charts on the left. To do that, we're going to change the height of each bar to match the height of the ionization energy and electronegativity values in this table on the right. So let me give you an example. I'm going to go ahead and select this red bar in the hydrogen box over here on the left side. Now I want to take this bar and match it with the ionization energy value shown in the table on the right, 1.31. To do that, I need to open the Format Options menu. So I'm going to go up to the Format menu and choose Format Options. That's going to open up this tab over on the right, and I'm going to expand Size and Rotation. So the height of all of these bars is currently just defaulted to one inch, and I'm going to change it to match the value of the ionization energy for hydrogen, which is 1.31. Once I do that, notice that the height of my bar in the hydrogen box changes to match that height. Now I'm going to do the same thing for helium. So I'm going to click the helium bar, the red bar in the helium box on the periodic table, and I'm going to change that to be 2.40 to match the ionization energy for helium in the data table on the right. Now I'm going to continue to do that for all the other elements in this these first four periods on the periodic table. And then I'm going to go back and do the same thing for all the electronegativity or the values or the blue bars for each element. Now this is going to be the diagram. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to use this diagram to answer the questions in the ionization energy and electronegativity periodic trends worksheet. All right, good luck.